Hello everybody. The new tank is starting to come together. Uh, it's got the grass in there now, it needs to be cut to shape and whatnot, but uh, at least it's here. A bunch of the decorations have arrived. Uh, the gap fell off at the top here. And most importantly, this has arrived. The remote control for the lights. So. Uh, please excuse the gorilla style videography here because uh, I need to switch the light off, so... Right, so... We've got the standard white light, but what do you want that for? Red? Green? All different shades. Get pink lights if you really want. Don't know why you'd want to, but the options there. There is the rather bizarre thunderstorm mode. I have no idea what possible use this could serve. Why would I want to deliberately terrify the fish? It's an option, I suppose. And uh, for any time that the fish want to throw a major radio party, there is, of course, funky disco mode. So, yeah, it just cycles through all the colours, or it's supposed to. Why is it not doing it? Hold on a second. Oh, that's why. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, now it's in funky disco mode. That's what happens when I try to do this in the dark. <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to see the lights if I put the main light on, so dark it is. So yes, we have the uh, colour changing funky disco mode. I'm not sure why a fish tank needs a disco mode. Like, what possible purpose could this have? But, I mean, so far it's been a decent investment. You know. Like all in getting the decorations and the fluval API stuff and you know replacing the missing remote control. I think I'm in for about a hundred quid so far, which to be fair, for a fifty seven litre tank is you know double the size of the current one. It's not a bad investment. But yeah, someone in the comments please explain to me why a fish tank needs a thunderstorm mode and funky disco lighting. Right. For a start, Tsukiyomi is a better fish. You can't even have him throw parties because if you put any other better fish anywhere near him, he will eat it. <laughs> so, I mean, we're currently down to two tetras in the tank because the other three have gone missing. And, like, there's no bones, there's no evidence that they ever existed. They just seem to have been teleported out by the Starship Enterprise. I have no fucking idea what's happened to them. Uh, but, yeah coming along nicely. So basically the plan for the bank holiday weekend is to give this thing a bloody good clean, put the water in, put in the API quick start here and then leave it to cycle for a week or so. So longer the better ideally but you know I've been busy. And then uh, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be transplanting Suki into this tank or setting it up with entirely new fish or whatever because you may have noticed that some of the decorations like the bamboo are not here because they're currently in the active fish tank, Suki's fish tank, because he was bored out of his fucking mind. That's why he was such a grump. He was just bored. Like, the minute I put the bamboo forest in there, he just perked right up. And he's been hiding in that forest. I don't know what his deal is. He just likes hiding at the minute. I put the big floating cave in there, and uh, he really has taken to it, so... He's been a lot more energetic, although also hiding a lot more, so it's, you know, 50-50. But I think is that now that he's, you know, comfortable in his current tank, I'm not really sure if I want to put him through the stress of moving him. If there's nothing wrong with his current tank, why bother? So I might just go down to the aquatic store and see what other stuff they've got. You know, I've always wanted a pea puffer, but I can't keep one in the same tank as Suki because it will bite his tail, and he's already got enough problems on that front. So... I don't know, peep over a few tetras. Figure something out.